Welcome back. With scientists around the world racing to develop a coronavirus vaccine, a new report says the Trump administration is considering emergency use authorization of a vaccine being developed at Oxford University. Dr. Anthony Fauci, though, says it's a bad idea to rush out a vaccine before it's been fully tested. CBS News correspondent Charlie Daggett got an exclusive look inside a lab that's working on a method to produce up to three billion doses of the vaccine. Swirling around in these flasks may be the world's greatest hope in bringing an end to the pandemic, the very Oxford vaccine itself. The Paul Corporation lab looks like a cross between an industrial kitchen and an operating room, where bioreactors share space with monkey wrenches. When its Oxford University vaccine began to show promise earlier this year, drug giant AstraZeneca approached director of strategy Clive Glover with a challenge. So the initial challenge was to make a process that could be uh, used to make millions of doses in a single batch. Millions. Millions of doses in a single batch, which could then be repeated. Glover told us the process of developing a system to scale up like this usually takes years. They came up with this blueprint within eight weeks. In all of your years, you've never seen anything like this. No, there, there's no question that um, the speed with which we worked on this process is unprecedented. A small starter batch of the vaccine is multiplied in this bioreactor until it produces millions of infected cells. Those cells are then broken down, the vaccine is isolated, and the rest of the system is essentially just a series of filters that remove cell debris and suspect contaminants. This is a classic engineering problem. How do you take your mother's favorite cookie recipe and make it exactly the same way thousands and millions of times. This equipment gets shipped out to manufacturers throughout the world. There is no time to spare and zero margin for error. The Oxford vaccine is one of several leading candidates, including Moderna and Pfizer BioNTech. Russia's vaccine has skipped large-scale phase three testing, offering inoculation to anyone who chooses to have one. Of course, Glover's gunning for the Oxford vaccine, and he's put more than his reputation on the line. He's taken part in the trial himself. The director of the Oxford vaccine said it's just possible they may have enough data to present to regulators this year. As for AstraZeneca, they told us they haven't held any discussions about fast-tracking this vaccine with anybody. Charlie Daggett, CBS News, London.